let's continue on the same example so please i already did two videos they build on each other if you're watching this video for the first time please watch those two videos um before you come here so that patient with pulmonary edema and heart failure has this abg after 30 minutes of being placed on mechanical ventilation so clearly it seems that he has respiratory acidosis so few changes we need to make here the first change let's take care of the um hypoxia and oxygen issue it's always take priority over hypercapnia so as you see he's on 100 percent of i2 and peep of 5 and po2 barely of 65 my goal always always is to try to decrease fio2 to 60 percent as soon as possible so here we just talked about the benefits of increasing PEEP and pulmonary edema. And as we talked in previous videos, the benefit of PEEP, because it prevent de-recruitment, it improve oxygenation. So I would increase PEEP probably to 10 and bring FiO2 probably to 70%. And again, this is clinical judgment and then repeat abg in 30 minutes or an hour and make adjustments so that way i decrease the risk of oxygen toxicity so that's the first change the second change i need to take care of this respiratory acidosis and again do not touch tidal volume keep it always six to eight mil per kg of ideal body weight in again ARDS five to six mil per kg ideal body weight so the only way to increase minute ventilation this is minute ventilation increase respiratory so the second change i will do i'll increase from 12 I'll go probably to 18 or 20 and then repeat ABG after that. 